Good morning. Today our lesson is talking about trigonometric identities. Now, before we start our, this, our the second part of our lesson, I will revise with you the identities that we talked about in the previous lesson. That's the reciprocal identities. That's cotan theta is 1 over tan. And cosecant theta is 1 over sine. So sine theta also is 1 over cosecant. Now, secant theta is 1 over cosine. And cosine is 1 over secant. And also we say that tan theta is sine over cosine. And cotan is cosine theta over sine theta. And also we talking we we uh, we're talking about the Pythagorean identities. That sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal one. Or also I can say that one over sine squared of theta is cosine squared of theta. Or one minus cosine squared of theta is sine squared of theta. Tan squared theta plus one is secant squared theta, and one minus secant squared of theta is also tan squared of theta. And also one plus cotan squared of theta is cosecant squared of theta. Now, here now, if I give you this, uh, this sentence or this example and I ask you now to ver verify this identity. How? First you have to say that sine square of theta minus sine square of theta I have to verify that it's equal tan square theta times sine squared of theta. The first step tan is sine sine of theta over cosine of theta. Now, since I am talking about tan squared, so it will be sine squared over cosine squared minus sine squared of theta. After simplifying, it will be sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta minus sine theta squared. Why? Because this squared, it will be uh, sine squared over cosine squared. Now, after that, if you see here, you have to make them both of these two fractions with the same denominators. How? By multiplying by cosine squared of theta up and down. So, it will be sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta cosine squared of theta after the multiplying by the like numerators over cosine squared of theta. Then after that, by adding them, here we have cosine squared of theta, the same denominator. Up in the numerator, it will be sine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta cosine squared of theta. Then, what I have to do? How can I continue now? Can I take sine squared of theta as a common denominator, a common factor? Yes, so it will be sine squared of theta as a common factor. Then, 1 minus cosine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Then, Sine squared, so then it will be sine squared of theta. Then, I told you that sine squared plus cosine squared equal 1. And 1 minus cosine squared of theta, it will be sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Now, sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta times sine squared of theta. Sine over cosine is what is tan. 
squared of theta times sine squared of theta, which is what I want to prove. Another example now here. Here you have sine squared theta, secant theta, plus cosine theta. I want to, that, to uh, verify that it's equal secant theta. Sine squared of theta, keep it as sine squared of theta times. Secant. Secant is what? 1 over. I'm starting with letter S, so here it will be letter C. So secant is 1 over cosine plus cosine theta. After that, here it will be sine squared of theta over cosine theta by multiplying them plus cosine theta over 1. By you find the, the common denominator here, which is cosine. So it will be sine squared of theta over cosine theta plus cosine times cosine is cosine squared of theta over cosine theta. Now, after adding them, here it will be sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta. Now, sine squared plus cosine squared is what? One using the Pythagorean identities. So it is one over cosine theta. And one over cosine is secant theta, which is what I want to prove. Another example now. Secant squared theta minus secant theta cosine squared theta. I have to prove that it is tan squared of theta. Secant, if I simplify it, it will be 1 over cosine squared of theta minus 1 over cosine squared of theta times cosine squared of theta. Then, after that, 1 minus cosine squared of theta minus cosine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. By adding them, cosine squared of theta is the same denominator. Up, it will be 1 over cosine squared of theta. Then 1 over minus cosine squared using the Pythagorean identities, it will be sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Now, sine over cosine is tan theta, and sine squared over cosine squared is tan theta squared, which is what I want to prove. Another example now. Sine theta, cosine theta, times tan theta plus cotan theta, I want to prove that it is equal 1. How? Here now, sine theta, cosine theta times tan. Using the tangent identities, it is sine theta over cosine theta plus cotan. It is cosine of theta over sine of theta. After that, can you distribute this sine cosine into this, this two functions that are multiplied? Yes. So, sine theta cosine theta times sine theta. Here it will be sine theta cosine theta times sine theta over cosine theta. I will repeat, I will distribute this function here and here. Plus plus sine theta cosine theta times cosine theta over sine theta. Then cosine cancel cosine. 
will be sine times sine is what? Sine squared of theta plus sine, cancel sine, it will be cosine squared of theta. Then using the Pythagorean identities, sine squared plus cosine squared equal one, yes, which is what I want to prove. Another example now, secant theta over cotan theta plus tan theta equals sine theta. I want to prove that secant over cotan plus tan equals sine theta. What I have to do? The first step, secant using the identities, it is 1 over cosine theta over cotan using the cotan cotangent identities, it is cosine theta over sine theta plus tan, which is sine theta over cosine theta. Then, what I have to do here? You know. Now what I can do, here it is. Now we know that if I have one, I'm sorry, if we have one over A over B over C, it is one over A times B over C. Then it will be one over AB over C, then it will be C over AB. Now, remember what I told you now. How can you use these things to solve this type of identity? Now, look here. This one, I can write it as 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta over sine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta. After that, cosine times cosine is cosine squared of theta over sine theta. Plus, I'm multiplying or distributing this cosine into these two adding fractions. Cosine times sine over cosine, it will be simplified, so it will be sine theta over 1, the like denominators, multiplying by sine theta, multiplying by sine theta. It will be 1 over cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta over sine theta. Remember what I told you. If I have 1 over A over B, it will be B over A. So here, it will be sine theta over sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta. Then, sine squared plus cosine squared using the Pythagorean identities is equal 1. So sine theta over 1 is sine theta which is what I want to prove. Now, please, as a homework in your notebook, verify that cotan theta plus 1 squared is equal to cosecant squared theta plus 2 cotan theta. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will continue the part 3 of how can I simplify how can I simplify, sorry, an expression?